Pedro or is it Yes. Yes. I say it all. Never feel shame for trying and failing for he who never failed. He's who he never tried. Good evening, fellow Toastmasters. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. evaluators and distinguished guests. I am Benjamin S. Palaron Jr., your speaker for today. I graduated from University of the East with a marketing course. And since I also love computers, I also took an e-commerce course at SDI. I was an easy-go-lucky guy. I don't mind about my future at the time, and I just want to finish college and eager to work and earn money. My first job was a clerk in the Philippine Postal Office, and I got tired working a desk job. So I shifted to a call center job because of the booming call center industry. This promising opportunity, <coughs> Career Plus and Anas wanted to get a higher salary. But this was not easy because I'm not good in English. In the way back in school, I didn't take the English subject seriously. I ran all the interviews when I when I applied for a call center job. I was rejected again and again, and I was frustrated at the time. So I decided to study the English language again and attended vocational course in, in English grammar and English accent and speech power. I was hungry and determined to get a job in the call center industry because I know that the great parts and I can get from it. We took almost all the free seminars offered by the government just to learn the English language. After two years of studying and practicing, I passed my first interview and got my first job offer. This is the first learning in life. Please don't believe in luck. Prepare and work hard to keep your goals. I work at EPL Eventus as a technical support representative in BGC. I learn to communicate efficiently to the customers and assist the needs for almost four years and a half. One day, I met a friend from church who had his own business. He's doing well in life. And I asked him, how did he become successful? He told me that he created his own business that ignited my, that ignited my entrepreneurial spirit. I went home reflect about my life. I thought about my future. I told myself that I don't want to work in the call center until I am old. I need to do something different in my life. To become better and have a better life. I started reading books of Robert Kiyosaki, Donald Trump, and Goldie Gorgeous, and many more entrepreneurs. And, and then I started to save my money to have a capital and plan to have my own business. While I'm searching online for business seminars, I saw a networking group conducting a financial literacy program and offering a networking business with a promise that they will teach you in the business. So I joined your group. I resigned from work to focus in the business community and in my networking business. But since I have no business experience, yet have no skill to sell the product, I got growth. 
This is my second learning in life. Don't venture in any business if you don't know the in and out of the business. This business failure made me get back to work as a call center to build my savings. That time I cannot afford to date my girlfriend, which is now my wife, to a fancy restaurant because I broke. One night, after, after our date, he saw all buildings along Edsa. And she suggested the idea of selling properties. At that time, we don't know the term of condominium yet. But we had a dilemma at the time. How can I sell a property worth a million if I can sell a building product worth 20,000, 25,000 pesos? We are curious on how to start in a real estate industry. We decided to attend a seminar about property selling and online marketing. We started as real estate agents, selling condominiums, and we're very lucky to get sales every month. My wife recommended that I take the licensed real estate professional examinations. I was afraid at that time because I did not believe myself that I could pass the exam. I'm so afraid to fail, plus we didn't have enough money to pay the review of the said course. So luckily, I received a bonus from my job. I was able to enroll and pray to God to pass the exams. With the support of my wife and my determination, I took the risk. To work night and study on the morning, I almost have no sleep. I had a hectic schedule, working from 9 p.m. from night shift as a call center agent. Then the next day, I will only sleep for three hours. Then I'll wake up at around 10 a.m. to study and eat. Then around 12 noon, I need to travel to Makati to get the review center from 1 p.m. to 7 p.m. That was my schedule for six months. To make the long short, uh, to make the long story short, I passed the exam. I'm so grateful I did. The third lesson in life is believe in yourself, do your best, and the God and God will do the rest. <laughs> now I'm very happy with the result of my hard work and perseverance. I'm now a licensed real estate broker, and at the same time, I have a rental business too. Free knowledge is taking the right action is very powerful. I never stop until I reach my goals. I hope my story inspired you to keep moving forward to your goals and dreams, and provide better future to your loved ones, and to all these things action. I will give you a quote from John Maxwell. In life, the question is not if you will have problems, but how you are going to deal with your problems if the possibility of failure were erased. What would you attempt to achieve? That's my speech. Thank you very much. Thanks so much for watching. See you again on my next video.